you know, sometimes I think you should hear the conversation that goes on during the commercial break. <laughs> we turn now to the Baker administration, quietly approving a 9% rate hike for home insurance, raising the average bill for homeowners about 100 bucks starting next year. Now, here's the Senate president's reaction, followed by the governor's explanation. Take a look. Very troubling. I don't recall any public hearings. I don't recall any public discussion about the proposed increase. And all of a sudden, a 9% because we have one bad winter. Uh, this doesn't make any sense to me. Generally speaking, the um, Division of Insurance scrubs these things pretty hard to make sure that they're appropriate. All right. So, in, 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 Mara, let's start there. Is the governor going to have to going to have to backpedal on, uh, on backpedal on this? This is terrible timing for Charlie Baker. This is the week that it came out that he's raised three times as much as his predecessor the first six months in office, and he did it with corporate donors. For him to support an insurance hike that benefits wealthy insurance companies is a disaster for him. He's got to backpedal. And public relations wise, Patrick, how do you explain everyone's going to cost him another well, another after that winter? Is going well, to let's cost let's you get it work. right. Okay, Charlie Baker didn't cause the winter, and he didn't approve the insurance rate. That's the DOI's job. His appointee or not, the bottom line is the insurance. And you don't companies, think they ran this pie? The insurance he did companies this? apply based on their risk and what happened this winter. Unprecedented. The DOI decides whether or not to grant that or not. I think we can pretty much rely on Governor Baker to do the right thing for taxpayers. And ratepayers. He's from the insurance business. He understands the dynamics of this. Okay, Mayor Walsh off to Rome tonight. One of seven U.S. elected officials invited to meet with the pontiff to talk human trafficking and climate change. But Walsh also wants to bring up the church sex abuse scandal. Do we assume that Cardinal O'Malley played a part in him getting this invitation, Pat? Um, I think so. I think Cardinal O'Malley is a very important uh, player, probably one of the most important domestically. And uh, Mayor Walsh is the right guy to do this. Boston is a place where this began, and Boston is a good place to continue. Continue that discussion in Rome. Mara. I hear that that's not so sure, but it's certainly a good thing for Marty Walsh to raise the issue of the clergy sex abuse scandal, let's, especially for the people of Boston. Let's talk about best week. Ladies mm. first. Mara, go ahead. Secretary of, John, Secretary of State John Kerry for shepherding Iran through an agreement which causes them to reduce their nuclear capacity and benefits them and us economically. Patrick. Uh, best week, Iran, because John Kerry and President Obama negotiated away everything in this deal. They still enrich, they get billions of dollars, they threw everything in but the free steak knives, and America is the big loser. Every Sunday we go on the record. Thank you.